subtraction strategy called Take From 10 with Mrs. Fry's first graders. So Take From 10 is a higher level first grade subtraction strategy um, where students are going to be looking at the idea of ones versus tens where I know 16 is made up of 10 ones, I'm sorry, 10, 1, 10, and 6 ones. So I'm thinking with subtraction, if I have 6 and I want to take 7 away from that, that doesn't work for me. If I have 6, I don't even have 7 to take away from. So we're going to take from the 10. So I know if I have 10, I can take 7 away from that. And that means that there are 3 left. So out of my 10, I've taken 7 away, and I have 3 left. But then I still have 6 more left. So I know that 3 plus 6, what's left out of my 16, gives me 9. So therefore, 16 minus 7 must also be 9. Let's watch some of Mrs. Fry's first graders explain how to use this strategy. Go. Zach, make 10. Ten's already here. So can you pull it down? Thank you. Okay. So right now we have 10. Sienna, can you make six on the other side? Yes. That, well, that one's good. That one's already got 10. Thank you. From can you show me it? Okay, so right now we have 16. We have 16, and this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, Eight. can you take 7 away from the 6 on the bottom? No. So where do you got to take 7 from? 10. So when I see this, how many are left? 9. How many are left, Sienna? 9. How do you see them? How many are on top? 3. How many are on the bottom? 6. Four. 3 and 6 make? 9. Thank you. You want to say the sentence for me? 15 minus 9 equals 6. And what did you do with the number bond? Can you talk about the number bond? Um, I broke apart the 15 and I did 5 and 10. So why didn't you subtract 5 minus 9? Because if I took away 5, um, it would be... It doesn't work that way, right? Okay. So what was your last step? How did how did you get six? These two numbers. So since they were left out of the 15, you had to add them back together. Thank you.